Attention to all health and care workers planning to migrate to the UK. New laws are set to come into effect from the 11th of March 2024, making the journey tougher for those seeking opportunities in the UK. Stay tuned till the end of this video to learn all about these new regulations. Are you planning to migrate to the UK? Do you need expert advice on the immigration process? Visit our website now, where hundreds of licensed and authorized UK immigration experts are registered to assist you on your immigration journey. Just click the link in the description box or the pinned comment below. Let's dive into today's video. Downing Street has announced a crackdown on foreign worker visas, causing anxiety among those in the health and care sectors. Effective March 11th, the new laws will restrict health workers from bringing their dependents to the UK and require them to register with the Care Quality Commission, also known as CQC, if they are sponsoring migrants. Moreover, the government's aim with these laws is to reduce the record levels of immigration to Britain. However, eyebrows are raised as reports suggest that hundreds of new care providers, some of which are suspected to be fake companies, have been authorized to sponsor foreign workers. Reports indicate that at least 268 companies, without any history of providing care services and some only a few months old, have been granted licenses to sponsor visas. This move raises concerns about the legitimacy and quality of these newly authorized sponsors. A spokesman for the Prime Minister stated that further visa crackdowns are under review. The government aims to enforce robust changes to prevent the abuse of the migration system. This includes limiting the ability of care workers to bring their dependents and requiring care providers to register with the CQC if they wish to sponsor migrants. Recent figures reveal a significant increase in the number of foreign health and care workers granted UK visas last year. In 2023, a record 146,147 application permissions were granted for health visas, marking a substantial rise from 349,000 in 2021. However, Charities have warned that the government's reluctance to address low pay in the health sector leaves migrants vulnerable to exploitation. This raises questions about the broader implications of these new regulations on the well-being and rights of workers in the health and care sectors. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it informative, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Also, be sure to check out our other videos on our channel. Until next time, stay informed and stay tuned.